Hello students, this is the last session of this theory of company accounts. So previous two sessions we have completed uh, the issue of shares and issue of debentures. Now we are coming to the topic called underwriting. Underwriting of shares and debentures. See, in case of public limited companies, unless the shares equal to minimum subscriptions are received, the company is not entitled to get the certificate of commencement of business. So, Companies Act says, if the company is unable to, uh, I mean, get the response from the public, the shares applied for is less than the minimum subscription, then the company will not get the certificate to commencement of business. The company can start the business only after getting commencement of business certificate and that commencement of business certificate the company can get only after minimum subscription shares have been received. Minimum subscription and this minimum subscription is 90% of the issue of shares. Example 1 lakh shares are issued. The minimum subscription 90%, 90,000 shares. So at least 90,000 shares must be applied for by the public. If 90,000 shares are not if there are 80,000 applications, are minimum subscription 90,000 shares. Hai. The company will not get the certificate of commencement of business. The company cannot start the business. So to be on the safer side, to be in a position that the company will get at least minimum subscription, the company will enter into an agreement called underwriting agreement. So what is this underwriting agreement? The underwriting agreement is an agreement between the company and the underwriters. In that case, the underwriters will promise that if uh, the public has not subscribed the shares, we will meet the deficiency. We will meet the deficiency. This is said by the underwriters. Underwriters ye kare public mein shares, ye public mein issue karo shares. Agar public minimum subscription ke utre shares agar nahi kharidi, so, whatever deficiency will happen, we will subscribe. For example, 1 lakh shares issue kare, minimum subscription 90,000 shares. Hai. Public has subscribed only 80,000 shares. The company will not get the commencement of business certificate. Then underwriters will meet the deficiency. 10,000 shares short. So, those 10,000 shares will be purchased by the underwriters. And make the subscription equal to minimum subscription so that the company can get the certificate of business the company can start it this is called underwriting this is called underwriting so it is an agreement between the company and the underwriters and the underwriters will say issue the shares to the public if the company have the public has not subscribed up to minimum subscription then we will sub, uh, meet the deficiency now this is called about underwriting of shares and debentures. Now underwriting commission. The underwriters have to be paid commission because they are taking the risk. They are giving the agreement that if the public is uh, if the public does not subscribe, we will subscribe the shares. So for giving this assurance, the company will pay commission. So regarding commission, the Companies Act has given the provisions. How the when the company can be able to pay the commission to underwriters? So what is the provision? The first provision says the payment of commission should be authorized by the articles of association. In the company, in the articles of association, there should be a provision that the company is uh, company can be uh, can pay the commission to underwriters. Secondly, the rate of commission must not exceed five percent of the issue price. 5% of the issue price or the amount or rate as specified in the articles of association whichever is less So 5% ya usse kam agar law fix kar diya the companies act has fixed 5% lekin agar article of association mein 3% likha hua to 3% whichever is less will be paid in case of shares in case of debentures 2.5% of the issue price or the rate or amount specified in the article of association whichever is less but as per the SEBI rules SEBI has allowed underwriting commission only at the rate of 2.5% of the issue price of equity shares the SEBI has fixed that the commission should be exactly 2.5% of the issue price of equity shares this is the provision in, Com in companies act regarding 
payment of underwriting commission. Third one, the commission paid or agreed should be disclosed in the prospectus. Commission kitna pay kare, underwriting commission kitna percentage pay karne, kitna amount pay karne, that should be specified in the prospectus. Or if there is no prospectus, it should be given in the statement in lieu of prospectus. Then fourth point, the number of shares or dimensions which underwriters have agreed to subscribe absolutely or conditionally should be disclosed. How many shares they have absolutely or conditionally agreed to purchase by the underwriters that should be disclosed in the prospectus. Fifth one, a copy of underwriting agreement, a copy of the underwriting agreement should be submitted to the registrar of companies, should be deposited at the registrar of companies. No underwriting commission is payable on the shares taken up by the promoter's employees. If any shares, promoters or employees are taken, then no commission should be paid on those shares which are purchased by employees, promoters, directors or such. Commission is payable only if the shares are offered to the general public. General public shares issue on that only commission will be paid. So, these are the rules given regarding underwriting commission by the Companies Act. Now we come to the next topic called marked and unmarked applications. Suppose if there is only one underwriter. Underwriting can be made either by one underwriter or more than one underwriter. If one underwriter is there, there is no problem with marked and unmarked. Example, the company has selected XYZ company XYZ as underwriters. XYZ as the only underwriter. When the company issues the shares to the public, if there is a deficiency of 10,000 shares, those 10,000 shares will be purchased by XYZ and the company will get the minimum subscription. Company will get the certificate of commencement. But normally what will happen, the amount of issue price is so huge, no one individual underwriter will come forward. Some two, three underwriters will jointly underwrite the issue jointly underwrite the issue. In that case, what will happen? Every underwriter will try to sell maximum number of shares in order to reduce the risk. Now, three underwriters say ABC, XYZ, PQR. Now, these three underwriters will do this and do more and 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 more. Advertisement will do more. Why? To reduce the risk. The more and more underwriters will try, the more the risk will be reduced. The more the shares will be reduced. The more the shares will be reduced. So what will happen? Every underwriter will issue the form which bears the name of the underwriter. Which bears the name of the underwriter. So the company will have forms on it. So the stamp will say, which underwriter will share it. Which underwriter will share it. कौनसे अंडरराइटर के पास से डिपेंडर आ रहा है ताकि कंपनी कैन बी एबल टू नो हाउ मेनी शेयर्स और हाउ मेनी डिपेंडर्स आर कमिंग फ्रॉम ईच ऑफ द अंडरराइटर सो व्हिच एवर फॉर्म इज बेयरिंग द नेम ऑफ द अंडरराइटर इट इज कॉल्ड मार्क्ड एप्लीकेशंस इट इज कॉल्ड मार्क्ड एप्लीकेशंस बट समटाइम्स व्हाट विल हैपन द पब्लिक विल परचेज द शेयर सब्सक्राइब डायरेक्टली फ्रॉम द कंपनी विदाउट एनी अंडरराइटर्स द कंपनी विल परचेज विल टेक अप द शेयर्स directly from the company so these forms which does not bear any mark any name of the underwriter it is called unmarked applications next comes partial undertaking partial underwriting there are two types of underwriting full underwriting partial underwriting full underwriting ka matlab jitne shares public may issue kar rahe pure shares ke upar underwrite kar lekin company kya karti hai sometimes partial underwriting the company is issuing 8, uh, 10 lakh shares to the public but the underwriting agreement is made only for 8 lakh remaining 2 lakh shares the company is directly issuing without any underwriting agreement it is called partial agreement so no benefit of unmarked application will be given to the underwriters in case of partial underwriting last topic is firm underwriting when the underwriters agree to take some extra shares apart from the deficiency, this is called firm underwriting. Example, there is an agreement between the company and the XYZ underwriter. So XYZ underwriter is saying we are the underwriters, we will take up the deficiency but apart from that we want some 10,000 shares in our own name. 
we want to purchase 10,000 shares in our own name. This is apart from the uh, obligation to meet the deficiency. Deficiency ko chhod kar company uh, company ke paas se 10,000 shares khari dilenga underwriter. This is called firm underwriting. So in case of firm underwriting, the underwriters will subscribe a specified number of shares apart from the number of shares which they have to purchase under the deficiency case. This is all about firm underwriting. So this is the last topic in this uh, unit. Apart from that, bonus shares is also there. But we'll complete the problems on this topic called issue of shares, issue of debentures and underwriting. We complete the problems on these two, these three topics. Then we discuss about bonus shares and we'll do the problems of bonus shares. Okay, so this is all the theory regarding issue of shares, debentures, and underwriting. In the next session, we'll start the problems on issue of shares and debentures.